Hello and welcome to episode 53 of the Witch and Knits podcast. I'm Shai, I'm a witch and I knit and I spin and I crochet and I do art and I do all kinds of crafty things and I like to sit down here on this channel, talk about it every now and then to you guys and here we are again with another episode. Yay! <laughs> I think I refilmed this intro like 10 times because my cat was going absolute bananas destroying my computer chair which is not allowed to do but here we are <laughs> trying again fingers crossed it will work this time anyway welcome back if you're returning here and a very warm welcome to you if you're new hope you like it here welcome to another video you may have noticed i uploaded uh, off schedule a little bit of an introductory int i can't say that word an <laughs> introductionary video <laughs> to Witchtober, which is kicking off on Monday. Yay, hype! Um, the 3rd of October. Well, my challenge is kicking off on Monday. Uh, all the other Inktober, Witchtober, whatever Toba drawing challenge you're doing is probably kicking off on the 1st, but mine is kicking off on the Monday because we're doing a weekly thing for four weeks and you can join if you want. You can go watch the video up here i learned uh you can go watch the video if you want the info about it or go look on my instagram here shia or shia art shia.art for the um info rules they're not really rules because we don't really have rules but yeah if you want to join you can go look there and also look at the prompts and see if it's something you want to join for drawing or for you can write you can paint you can Whatever your creative outlet is, create some witchy stuff and show it off. Hashtagging ShireWitchTober22 on Instagram or on YouTube. Just remember to tag me so I see it. But anyway, that's um, that's Witchtober out of the way. I'm not changing uploading days was my original point to make, but I also just really wanted to talk a little bit about it because I'm really excited about that challenge. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not going off schedule but I will be uploading additionally throughout October when I do have Witchtober videos ready to go up, which will hopefully be one every week, but might be every second, we'll see. We'll see how many pieces I make as well. I don't know how much time I'll have, because I have probably have extra horse duty in October, in the start of October, but that's okay. I can sign up for that, so. Anyway, that's a lot of talking before starting the video. I'm so very really sorry. Let's do some whips. I will say I haven't had time to finish a lot of stuff since last time because trying to film more like regularly and I have so many things going on. I don't really, I have so many projects. Like when I picked filming back up, I had like one project and a lot of FAs because I've been working on things throughout the year but um, now I've got like 17,000 whips and I'm going insane but it's good so but but it's fine because I <laughs> once again I signed up for that so let's do some whips this one has seen the least amount of work I think in this these two weeks that I have not been filming two weeks yeah in here lives my Corvus Corax by Ellie Willis of Curious Stitches and I have put a few rows in it actually I I haven't not worked on it so it's it's seen some little bit of work a little bit of progress got almost all of the foot down and I started the leg so um yeah that's that's a crow's foot very exciting so yeah that's uh it's, it's grown maybe maybe five rows or something. Um, I feel kind of bad, but I am working, like I said, on a bunch of things. So this is the Corpus Corax in progress. I am excited for it. It will be great and cozy. This yarn is so squishy. It is the um, Wolevo Soft Merino. I actually have some balls with the ball hands on so I can, uh, I can show you in uh, black and the grey is also the same yarn 
um, which I bought from Garnius, uh, which is a Norwegian shop, I believe. Um, very affordable, squishy, and DK weight, and I enjoy that yarn, <laughs> so I have a ton. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, here we are. That that thing. Um, this is super fun to knit because it's a bit of a unique technique. It is entire shirt in the round, so there's no floats going around the whole jumper. You do that by knitting with the floats, which is very interesting. I've never done that before, but it is uh, super fun and works really well. I'd say it's not really messing with my gauge or anything, so um, yeah, I'm super enjoying it. Super looking forward to finishing this. I just need to sit down and work on it a little bit. I will this weekend, I think. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. I can't wait to get to the bird's face. It's so cool. But I can't show you because uh, that's the pattern and we don't want any spoilage of that. <laughs> like I said, this is by Ellie of Curious Stitches and it's an upcoming pattern being tested right now and I'm really excited for it. So that's my whip number one. My whip number two is in this bag with cats and pumpkins on it and it is my casting mitts I just finished and set up for I finished the first room I've just set up for the thumb gusset on my right mitt and I finished except for the thumb my left mitt so I'll put it on for you like I said I didn't do the thumb yet I'll do that when I have both done here's my casting mitt number one and I'm really pleased with it with the runes this is also a pattern by Ellie of Curious Stitches and I am so so happy with these love them ah I love runes <laughs> but yeah these are stranded colour work on 2.5 millimeter needles in fingering weight and yeah it's a it's a mitt i had to shorten the ribbing because i have like baby hands that are very small but i love it so it's the perfect length like this for me so yeah mitts very excited very fun very happy these will be released mm, oh my god these are actually live today. <laughs> These will be on, or they already are, released today, along with, I believe, uh, an ebook with the entire rune collection and some extras by Ellie, and I will have it linked in the description so you can go and grab it. Hi, Editing Shy here. I actually finished these and I just thought I'd show you my finished mitts as they are getting released today. So here's some pictures of my finished mitts and then let's get right back into the video. Bye. There is also, and I believe today is the last day to use it, so you should be able to use it to get these patterns. My code, I have a little bit of a discount code for uh, the patterns in Ellie's shop. You can use it for any patterns. I think you can also use it multiple times. But today is the last day, so run and grab some patterns. Uh, my code is SHYCAL, and um, you can also join in a knit along with all of Ellie's pattern, which is the Curious Stitches knit along, which is running until fr running from last Saturday, so essentially today if you missed it, um, until the 31st of December 2022 and you can win prizes weekly. It is hosted by Ellie and Kerry of My Wool Mitten and also Susan of Wild Cottage Ireland here on YouTube. So that is super exciting and I think you should go and join. Ellie has so many good patterns and there are so many good ones coming out as well. 
and yeah, I, I've knit a bunch of her patterns. I've knit two hats, I've knit the wolf spain and the moonology hat, um, I've knit moonology socks, I've knit the lottie jumper, I've, I've, I've made a bunch of her patterns and I love them so much. So I totally think you should go and knit. I, I know I rave about her patterns all the time. I'm like, I test knit a lot of, uh, a lot of her patterns. Yeah, just all the love. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's the rune mitts and all the cow info. Go join; it'll be fun. You can win stuff, like I said. And yeah, let's get on with the next thing I've got on my needles, which is a new cast on and a new test knit. I now was saving this bag for my Stephen West shawl, but um, I figured I'll, I'll finish this before the shawl comes out. So in here lives this little cow which is cowl not cow not a knit along well it is a little bit of a knit along because we've got a group chat for the test but uh, this is the nightling cowl by Jan Emma of children of the rise or knitting takes balls on Instagram and it is a sorry you can see the floats it is a colour work in the round cowl with it's going to have a bat on it. You can see the wings there. I um, have just started the bat's little belly. Yeah, it looks like somebody pointed out in, in the chat it looks a bit like an angry little skull, which it actually does with the legs. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I just had to jump on applying for this test knit because oh my god, this design is so good. It is releasing in a week, I believe. And I should, by the time this podcast goes up, have uh, finished this, hopefully, because, um, yeah, I, uh, this, I'm filming before this goes up, obviously, so <laughs> I, should, I should have finished this well in time for that and had, uh, have had some pictures taken, but yeah, this is so good. I'm so excited and I'm loving it so far. Going with the classic black and red and I realised since it's a bat and it's black with red, um, what in the Bacardi rum? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, kind of looks like the Bacardi bat at the moment because, uh, because of my colour choices but that's okay. Rum is good. But yeah, I like black and red together, so I went with that, and I wanted to knit the bat in red, so um, so I went with that. So I'm knitting this out of also Wollabo in black, and out of uh, Sandness Smart, which is a um, wool yarn, one hundred percent wool, uh, superwash in the colour. 4065 <laughs> red <laughs> so yeah I had to order more I went in in the local yarn shop in another city because I was there for a doctor's appointment um, that was there because that's in the general area we lived in before and whatever it's a whole thing but <laughs> I bought one ball of this and I've got this much left uh, so far and well the, the red is the main colour and it does say it takes at least 100 grams but I didn't know that I was going to get in for the test knit when I bought the yarn so I just I'll, I'll pick some red in case I get a spot in the test knit and I, I did and then I realised I needed more than one ball so I ordered two more I, I should have should have enough now. Um, hopefully it doesn't take both but if, if it does that's okay that's why I bought two so I bought two I got them today in the mail so I'm excited because I can knit on this all weekend if I want to so nice yeah I'm, I'm really excited for this I'm using this little stitch marker from Knitting Nikabi on it because it matches perfectly <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be my nightling cowl like I said, by Jen Emma of Children of the Rise on Instagram and Ravelry. And I am so excited for this. Bad cow, bad cow, bad cow. But yeah, 
I'll pop this back in the bag and talk about some of my designs. I did not knit on my own Pico mitts at all this past week, so I'm not going to show them. They haven't moved because um, I've been knitting on the cowl and other things. So, uh, <laughs> um, but what I did, this is, I'm going to do, it is kind of a half arrow or slash prototype and a whip and some stash enhancement all in one. But I, um, last Thursday slash Friday, I uh, randomly just designed a hat with all this on it. It is uh, matching my Capriole riding mittens because as we were in the stables, like this time of year is when you really start feeling the don't want to take off my riding helmet because it will be very cold and I don't have a hat so I wanted to knit or design a matching hat to my Capriol riding mitts and I might actually keep this on but it's I didn't weave in the ends but <laughs> in here I also have um, like I said some, some stash enhancements that I am right now putting into the second iteration of this pattern because I'm not entirely happy with it and I wanted to knit it in a yarn that's like easy to replicate for when this actually gets into testing because I will be having a testing call for this and the mitts in the future. I don't know when but I got, as you can see in here, sorry my energy is a bit chaotic. Um, these two yarns, um, David actually picked this one and I was originally going to pick a black one but then I picked this one because fun to switch things up every now and then and then he was like oh well, we'll pick a brand because it's a horse and I'm like you can't really see the brand together with this and then he was like well I'll take the pink and I was like it's a bit bright isn't it but then I put them together I was like it's perfect it's perfect I love this colour combination so much um it is both of them are Rama yarns in the Rama Finol which is sport weight. So yeah, this is knit after campus and I dyed the light yarn myself. It is my unicorn aura colorway that I don't know if I can ever make again, but I love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, um, knitting out of these two. And I have made a mistake somewhere in this and I have to undo a full row of double knitting and that's okay. I'm gonna take this off and show you some details. Sorry my hair is probably awful now but yeah that's the horse doing the capriole again and it features a double knit brim and it has this is the one detail I'm changing it has two lateral braids but I'm just gonna do one in this this version and yeah I'm proud of myself I managed to math it out in one go <laughs> and it has this design that is like yeah got four seams on top and th this version is a little bit too big and I think I think this will fit better we'll see if not I'll go down to uh, 3.25 for I'll frog this if this isn't good and go down to needles well quarter of needle size it's in 2.5 right now I'm gonna try I mean 3.5 to 3.25 in case it's too big but yeah cafe oil to match the mitts mittens that I also have to <laughs> write down and remix so I'm gonna get more of these yarns to knit a second pair of the mittens as well. My plan is also it's going to have a pom-pom or a tassel, probably whatever you feel like making or nothing if you like it as it is. But yeah, I'm super excited about this, actually very very happy. So yeah, I made a hat on a whim in two days, well more like one day. So uh, 
yeah, that happened. I have so many pattern ideas just coming out of my skull at an alarming rate. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, as far as I've gotten on that. I just... I knit one row, realised in like the last few stitches I've, I've probably made a mistake and then I got the email that I got in for the cowl test knit so I, um, I let this rest and I'll pick it up again when the cowl is done. So yeah, I'm really excited about that though. I'm really really excited to have more design ideas, just all of them. That's what I have for projects to show you. My Piebald are, like I said last time, in testing. I am aiming to publish them in late October. Like I said before, they're going to be free and then, like, kind of learning the ropes with things. So I'm going to learn how to do the tester code next. And yeah, I'm just. I'm excited but I'm also a little bit scared. There's still room for test knitters but if you think you can crank out a sock, a uh, colour work sock before the end of October, hit me up on Instagram or on Ravelry. Links are down there as well. I still need someone to do the 48. This might be um, filled by the time this goes up, I realise now, but anyway if you want to knit them let me know. And also I, I had someone say they wanted to knit the uh, mitts they're coming out, uh, keep your eyes peeled for future test calls for hats and mittens and mitts and whatnot. I also have like a few socks that I want to get into testing pretty soon because they're like Christmas themed and I want to get them out into like well in time for Christmas. So hype, exciting, I'm, I'm just full of ideas uh, and I don't know, it's uh, something happened when we moved and it's like this huge creative block just dissipated and I can make things again and it's so good. I'm so happy, so grateful. Also this wonderful light is just mm, so happy. But anyway, excited for the pie bald. That is I think all I have for like yarny content. I don't have any sewing to share really. I did cut out <laughs> the cape, oh my god. <laughs> Just gonna touch on that a little bit. I did cut out buttons, I need to sit down and sew them, and I need to get on with filming for the Cape Tember vlog. I'm horrible. I'm, it's going to be a Cape Tober vlog. That's just how it's gonna have to be. But um, I, I did start on it again, <laughs> and I will finish it before it gets too cold because. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing the leather jacket throughout winter again. Mm -mm. So yeah, I did mention Witchtober at the start of the video because I apparently can't shut up about it. But yeah, um, like I said, I have a video with um, the info about the challenge and I also just want to share I made this little animation uh, for like title screens and stuff. I'm really pleased with that. I, I animated that. I I keep saying I, I can't animate. I don't know how to do that. And then stuff just happens. I don't know. But um, yeah, I did that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited. Watch me now just not do a single picture for it but I'll try. I'll try my best. I'll try my best to finish the challenge. I'm not going to do it digitally. I'm going to have to find a sketchbook I like. Last time I did it was 2020 I just checked. I used a sketchbook that I, I do like it for like line art sketching but I decided to go in with ink washes and the paper just did not agree with it and it was a bit of a pain. That kills a big part of the creativity with it and also sometimes I struggle with my hands I keep wanting to use like regular fine liners uh, like separate and I just sometimes it doesn't work out I, I start hurting a lot so I much prefer using brush pens uh, that works a lot better so I'll try to 
get some new ones because I think the ones I do have are completely out of ink. So, because <laughs> they're quite old and I've used them a lot. So I need to do that. But um, yeah, I, 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 have, I have some time left to do that. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, that's Witchtober. That's happening soon. Kicking off on Monday. I hopefully already have the sketchbook by the time this video goes up. Like I say, all the time I'm filming ahead because I have so much to do in the coming week. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I should have been looking at that when we went into town the other day, like a week ago. We went into Stockholm for the first time in ages. I think I've not been in Stockholm before then, like the city, uh, but they're just outside the city. Um, sure trip the commuter train out from the city. Um, I haven't been in the city since my birthday but uh, we went in last Saturday and it was really nice, really fun. Went to the uh, sci-fi bookshop and I picked up a couple of books that I am excited to read. This is Imakoi by um, Eibohata and it is a romance um, manga. And I am excited to read it. It's supposed to be in the same vein as the sign of affection, but at the same time not because, yeah, <laughs> it's not the same author, it's not the same series. But I'm excited to read it. I've seen good things about it online. I think there's currently three volumes out and the fourth is coming out in December, I believe. And yeah, I thought I'd pick up the first one. If I like it, I'll pick up the second and third one as well next time we're in town or in the city. So I'm very excited. I, um, speaking of the sign of affection, I did read the third book finally yesterday. I own five uh, books, the five that are out right now, and I looked up when the sixth is, sixth is coming out. And it's not until May. How? How am I supposed to wait for that long? <laughs> Why? I'm sad. So maybe it's good that I have a new series to dive into after finishing the five books that I do have. But yeah, that's that's probably going to be a bit of a cliffhanger because that series is going to have at least seven books and that long in between. <laughs> It'll be worth it, I hope. But anyway, that's Imakoi. I'm invited to read it. I've been watching some manga YouTubers over the past year as well, and that's how I learned about new series. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise, I do what I do best and just pick up things I already collect from like way back, and that's kind of hard to find sometimes. So it's uh, it's it's a struggle to have like a half finished series of something that came out in like 2010, 20, 2006, 7, 8. I'm struggling to find some of the series I'm collecting, like Godchild, for instance. I have five, I believe. Yeah? No? I can't count. That's four books. I have four books. Uh, it's very dark and a little bit, a little bit gory and very gothic and the art style is lovely and I really want to finish reading it. I don't want to read it online. I have four books. It's just nowhere to be found. I found one volume is available on Amazon at the moment for like 900 Swedish and that's about 90 euro. That's, that's a bit much for me. <laughs> anyway, bought this one. I also bought this, which is the Omanju Forest, uh, but it's in Swedish, so it's Omanju Skogion by Sayo Iwoka. I don't really remember what this series is about because this is one of the ones I bought in, I'm going to see if it says when it was released. This is, this is from 2014. I started collecting this series when the first book came out and that was probably like 2011 or something. Uh, I haven't read this and I haven't reread it because this is a complete series and I'm also picking up the fifth book because I remember liking this, I just don't really remember what it's about, but it's mystical and forests, spirits and stuff and I, yeah, like I said, remember liking it. So I will, I will be reading this 
and then updating you guys on what it's about and what I thought now that it's been a few years since I last read it. But uh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's bad that I just picked up a book that I don't remember what it's about. But this is what I call being damaged by collecting ponies. There's a set, then you complete it, even if you don't really like all the pieces. But I shouldn't be keeping that for like manga and stuff. I, I should be, if I don't like it, it goes. But um, yeah, that's, that's um, a pony collector thing, I think, because uh, they, at least the older, ponies I don't really know but yeah things do come in sets now but like this is mostly like focused on sorry pony tangent you had to deal with it I collect my little ponies if you knew the 80s ponies all came in different sets and future ponies like later ponies did too but let's talk about the 80s ponies uh, they all came in sets like the little ponies and then the unicorn and pegasus and the flyer fantasy ponies and the glow and show ponies and whatever and it's like f four to 12, <laughs> not really 12, I don't think. Yeah, maybe the So Softs had 12, but anyway, a bunch of ponies in the same set. They have the same gimmick and they have the same kind of like theme going. And uh, you start a set, you complete a set. I, I recently completed a set, I'm very happy. It's these ballerina babies, they're adorable and I love them so much. I think I shared this, uh, I did share this picture on Instagram. I'm just so excited for them. They are so cute. I love them so much. Now I need to collect the adult ballerinas because I own one and I need the rest. That's just how you collect ponies. Um, that's not how, how I collect um, ponies from other generations than the 80s ponies because that would be overwhelming but I do that with the G1 ponies because that's how I've always done it and I, I like the sets. Yeah, my ponies I just tend to pick up what I find and when I do complete a set I'm happy but I don't really go searching for them even though I very actively collect like generation 2 and 3 I don't really go out searching for them the same way I do generation 1 Anyway, end of pony tangent. Sorry about that. But yeah, I shouldn't be keeping that philosophy for the manga. Um, but then again, I'm not saying I don't like the series. I just say I don't remember it, so I should reread it before buying the fifth book. Maybe. So really, my quality, I should read it before deciding on buying the second one. Because I don't have that kind of income that I can just splurge and not like stuff. Anyway, that's uh, manga. And um, yeah, I um, just dove straight into that because I'm excited for it. It seems like the manga section is here to stay. I'm sorry if you don't like it. I try to put chapters in these videos you can like skip over things you don't want to hear about. So just skip the manga if you don't want to hear it in the future. Probably gonna end the episode there because I've been completely just talking your ears off now for a very long time. Thank you so so much for watching this video and for being here and for listening to me ramble about all kinds of things. I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you would like to keep seeing what I get up to on this channel with my Witchtober things and with other art and with YouTube, <laughs> as if we're not on YouTube, and with my knitting, my upcoming patterns and things I test for other people and all of that fun stuff, vlogs, Consider clicking the subscribe button down below and, uh, oh, I completely forgot to say, I think, all throughout the episode, but everything I talk about, as usual, will be linked to the show notes in the description, also in my Ravelo group, which is also linked in the description. <laughs> you can find all my links and all the links to people I've been talking about there. But yeah, if you want to keep seeing what I get up to, consider subscribing, clicking the little bell notification dingy medding so you get notified whenever I upload a new video and uh, like the video if you liked it, leave a little comment um, telling me what the weather is like, are you excited for Witchtober, I asked that in my Witchtober video but in case you didn't watch it, are you excited for Witchtober, are you doing some sort of drawing challenge, what spooky patterns are you knitting on, tell me something, uh, I would love to talk to you guys and yeah. 
I will see you again very very soon in another video. Have a wonderful weekend and week or however many days shorter or longer. I don't know what happens with which Tober. Um, until I see you again and yeah, have a great time. Bye!